Hey guys, how's it going today? It's afternoon. Smoking my uh, Great Dane Spool. Got me a little, can you see what that is? You know what that is? Guess. No, this is not the Wacky Wednesday. That might be even harder to guess, huh? There's some RLP6 in there, trying it out for the first time. Smoking pretty good. I'm still not, and I say I'm not a fan of aromatics. That doesn't mean I don't like them. It means I just, they're a little, th maybe thin is the terminology I'm looking for. I don't know. So anyway, but again, I've just lit this maybe three, four minutes ago. So, you know, I would never judge a cigar by two or three minutes into a cigar either. And so, and I went back to BCA the other day, tried another bowl of BCA, and I'm starting to like it a little bit more. So again, as I revisit a lot of these, I think I'm gonna like them more. Um, got my Danny Shore Tamper, my little glass tray that I showed you earlier. But I uh, wanna talk just a little bit about uh, cigar and pipe tobacco. And I was just watching a video that uh, Kevin put out, Louisiana Pipe Guy, 1965. And so he was talking about a, uh, he was smoking a Cohiba. He talked about before that he really likes the Brick House cigars. <clears throat> and now he's been smoking uh, some of these uh, Cohibas. He'd smoked a couple that I had sent him. And he was saying that uh, the Brick House, instead of being like a, you know, a one through 10 rating for him, instead of it being a 10, now that he smoked some of these others, it may have moved back to a position five and some of the Cohibas and some of this new stuff is, is a 10. And sorry, I had to go a bit of heat to this. And so, and I found the same thing when I first started smoking cigars, I would find a cigar. It's like, oh, this is it. I have found the cigar. And then what happens? You try something else. It's like, holy smokes, this blows that one away. This one is way better than that last 10. I gotta keep this one in stock. This is the best cigar out there. And then you try something else. It's like, man, this blows everything out And so it keeps going. And so, you know what, Kevin? You're gonna find a cigar that's gonna blow those away at some point. And if you want to, you may never need to. You know what, that, there's nothing wrong. I think I'm tilted a little bit here. There's nothing wrong with finding a cigar that you like, and in my opinion, and never experimenting anymore. But to me, that's half the fun of it, is experimenting and trying new things. And that's kind of the experience I'm going through with pipe tobacco. You know, I'll find a pipe tobacco and it's like, wow, that's really good, I like this. And then I'll try another one, it's like, oh, that's even better than this one. And whether, I don't know that I'll ever be able to limit it to there's no way I can limit it to one pipe tobacco can I limit it to four or five probably not there's just too many good blends out there I dried this lane out just or this RP6 out just a little I probably should have left it out for a little bit longer so anyway that's just my little thoughts on cigars and pipe tobaccos and I think eventually you're going to find one that you love and then you're going to find another one that's like, man, that last one that I loved, it's not so great anymore. So, but uh, that's why there are so many different varieties out there of pipe tobacco, of cigars. And so, and that again, to me, that's half the fun of it. So even once I find, let's say, a top 10 cigars, top 10 pipe tobaccos that I will always keep these 10 always always I don't think I'll ever stop trying others it may be try a little bit here try a little bit there and eventually I may find uh oh number three over here just been replaced by this one or something like that so anyway um, just a little uh, talk about pipe tobacco cigars and I'll catch y'all later thanks for watching I appreciate it